On July 14, 2019, Brandon Andrew Clark murdered Bianca Michelle Devins after allegedly seeing her kiss another man. Although police reports say the murder was premeditated, following a botched suicide attempt, Clark was charged with second-degree murder. He subsequently pleaded guilty to the murder and was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Bianca Michelle Devins, also known as Bianca Arin, is a 17-years-old girl who intended to study at Mohawk Valley Community College in Utica for psychology. Her struggles with mental illness in the form of depression, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder were concern for her loved ones. She had been in and out of the hospital receiving mental health treatment for much of her teen years. Having experienced feelings of isolation, she found refuge in online communities. According to the Post standard, Evans had been dealing with online harassment by insults for at least two years. Meanwhile, Brandon Andrew Clark is 21 years old. At the time when he met Devins on Instagram in April 2019, after Clark had begun following her on the social media platform, Evans' mother, Kimberly Devins, thought that Clark wanted more. Evans explained to her mother that she did not wish to date Clark. Police described their friendship as a personally intimate one. But friends and family said otherwise. One of Devon's sisters called him a trusted family friend. One of Devon's friends feared that he may have been sexually exploitative of her while they were high on drugs, which he would, reportedly, supply to Devon's in order to spend time with her. Clark's childhood was subject to dysfunction. He once witnessed his father hold his mother at knife point for several hours. But Devon's mother said that he was so polite and kind when Bianca first invited him in their house. On July 13, 2019, Canadian singer Nicole DeLanginger performed a show in New York City. That was attended by Devins, Clark, and another male friend of theirs, named Alex. Following the show, Clark and Devins returned to Utica. The two engaged in an argument, likely regarding to Clark caught Devins and Alex kiss eventually. Clark began assaulting her, slicing her neck with a long knife, hidden by his seat. Evans died in the early morning hours of July 14. Her body, nearly decapitated, was left in the car as Clark built a bonfire and listened to a song called Test Drive by the artist Joji. After Devon's death, Clark called numerous family members. His call resembled a suicide note, prompting his family to call 911. He posted photographs of Devon's body to a Discord server. A video of the murder was also created. By 7 a.m., Discord users had notified the police. who received numerous calls, including one from Clark, and made contact with Devon's family. In his call to the dispatcher, Clark said, My name is Brandon, the victim is Bianca Michelle Devins. I'm not going to stay on the phone for long. Because I still need to do the suicide part of the murder-suicide. Upon the police's arrival, Clark stabbed himself in the neck. He lay across a green tarp concealing Devins' body and posted more photos online. A suicide note and message were found, the latter reading, May you never forget me. They were both rushed to hospital but unlike Devins, Clark survived his suicide attempt. The next day, police confirmed the victim was Devins and charged Clark with second-degree murder. Having had the knife and equipment to videotape the killing, authorities reported the possibility that he planned the murder. Police found out that he had made web searches on how to find the carotid artery, how to incapacitate or kill someone, and general searches for choking and hanging. The vigil for Devins was held on July 15, her funeral taking place on July 19. Another vigil was held in July 2020. On February 14, 2020, a fashion and art show displaying her work was held. The images of Devon's corpse became widely shared on social media, such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. They gained traction on the website 4chan, with hundreds of posts praising Clark for committing another 4chan murder. Users on insults.com and 8chan were also celebratory. Hashtag rest in peace Bianca briefly trended on Twitter. Accounts promising to post images of Devon's murder in exchange for likes and follows and illegitimate fundraising site sprang up to capitalize on her name and death. This image, with a hashtag rest in peace Bianca, was used to share photos and original artwork of pink clouds that combat the spread of images containing Devon's corpse.